Hello everyone, it's Thursday, April 15th, 2021. It's 3.25 p.m., 64 degrees Fahrenheit, 12 degrees Celsius. And I'm at the corner of 9th Avenue and 34th Street, the location of the B&H Photo and Video Store on a rainy day. I'm going to take a walk through Midtown Manhattan in this video to the Uniglo store because I need to go shopping for some new clothes. So let's take a stroll over there. I'm going to walk across 34th Street until I get to 5th Avenue. While I head to the Uniglo there on 53rd Street. It was raining a little bit heavier earlier today, but it's lightened up a lot more. I think it will get a lot more busy once I head down to 8th Avenue, 7th Avenue, where Penn Station is. I also had to go to B&H because I needed to replace my microphone adapter, which was going bad on me. Luckily, that adapter didn't cost that much money. Certainly a lot less expensive than buying a whole new microphone, so I'm glad I was able to get that sorted out. Looks like there's some construction across the street. I'm not sure what they're replacing there. But any kind of construction work is um, big, a big project here in New York City. Here we have the juice press store as well as the Just Salad. So two healthy options next to each other and Starbucks, which can be unhealthy if you don't watch what you order. And then who can't forget the famous Wyndham New York Hotel with the classic New Yorker sign. Here's Five Guys Burgers and Fries. I always wondered why they called it Five Guys. Was it because there's five guys who founded the company? I like to uh, know why that is. Here we have the AMC theaters. The movie theaters are open in New York City, but they're operating at a limited capacity. There's actually a lot of fast food places around here, even Chipotle is here too. Actually, now that I think about it, the block between 8th Avenue and 7th Avenue on 34th Street doesn't really have that many dining options besides the corner here. There's a lot more between 8th and 9th. Here we have the 34th Street Penn Station subway station, A, C, and E lines. Here's uh, 8th Avenue. Doesn't really seem to be too much traffic on 8th Avenue now. There's the Moynihan train hall, which, wow, they're doing construction work on the exterior of Moynihan. Madison Square Garden with Penn Station right below it. 
Here we have a beautiful flowering tree. I forgot the exact name of it, but I was looking it up earlier. It's a uh, something pear tree. I had a few uh, viewers told me this is dogwood, but dogwood seems a little bit less full. This is um, some kind of pear tree, but it doesn't bear any fruit, it's just flowers. But I heard that uh, tree species is native to China and India. This is something I haven't seen in a while. This plaza all closed off, but this is what, what it's going to look like when it's all done. January 2022 uh, is when it's expected to complete. You see not too many dining options across the street. I remember there used to be a lot more, but this whole area here has been knocked down. That corner has been knocked down. There's really only 7-Eleven there, which doesn't really qualify as a restaurant in my book. It's more of a convenience store. I wish this construction would get over soon. And to think this entire block at one point used to be the old Pennsylvania station. Someone's umbrella flipped inside out. I guess they don't really need it right now because they're underneath the scaffolding. Now, some drops are making it through the metal though. Now, I could go to Macy's across the street from my clothing shopping, but I'm much uh, more comfortable with Uniglo because I know what I want and I'm wearing one of their light jackets right now. Hopefully I can find something similar to this. There's also a Uniglo past um, 6th Avenue. But I'd rather go to the main one on 5th Avenue and 53rd Street. It'll also make for a longer walk for everyone here to watch. Here's the entrance to Penn Station. Long Island Railroad, ACE 123. There's also New Jersey Transit here, but I don't see New Jersey Transit um, marked at this entranceway. And Amtrak also serves here, but Amtrak is more on 8th Avenue. Here's 7th Avenue. This entire block across the street is pretty much comprised of the Macy's headquarters building. Actually, let's cross over the street. I'd like to know what's inside the Macy's windows right now. It'd be pretty fun to see. Hey, look, today's news, J-Rod are done. Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez has split. Seems like these celebrities don't stay married for too long. Let's see what's in the windows of the Macy's building. I'm sure they're gonna be showcasing some new brands and new fashion right now. 
Um, well, it looks like there's a sunglass hut display right now. Here we got Forever 21 across the street, the Proc store and Old Navy. Oh, look at that. We probably won't be able to see much because Macy's is building their new displays. So I came at the wrong time. Maybe if I come a week from now, we'll be able to see it. Take a look at this old sign, the entrance to the men's department. But now it's just the emergency exit. Yeah, all of the Macy's windows are undergoing construction right now. Hopefully the front ones aren't. The main ones by Broadway are the main attraction all the time. There's Tag Hoyer. I assume that they're getting ready for like some spring brands. Maybe they're introducing some floral displays, it'll be nice to see. The Macy's Flower Show is always a big hit every year. I think they're still going to host it this year. Hey, they are! Macy's Flower Show, Sunday, May 2nd to Sunday, May 16th. So you have two weeks to see it. It's not that far off now. Just make sure if you go in there that um, you have all your allergies taken care of because many people are allergic to flowers. Or just bring a lot of tissues. Oh wow. La Coste and Polaroid. This is a neat little fusion here. And people thought Polaroids were done for in the digital age. Certainly not from the display here. Here we've got a driver blocking the bus lane and all the traffic behind it. Because this bus needs to <laughs> drop off passengers in the travel lane. There's the Empire State Building. Can barely make out the top. Actually, I can't make out the top because of all the fog. That's a unique sight to see. Now let's check out the front of Macy's. We have more of these um, pear trees inside Herald Square. All right, we have some new fashion uh, windows now. This one is a little bit more floral. Miser Hilton for Inc. International Concepts. Pretty cool. I want to see the rest of these windows and then head along 34th Street. Pretty neat to see these. And this one isn't a um, fashion display, but it's a statement. Icons of style. It's 
walk through Harold Square underneath all these beautiful flowers. Love all these tulips here. Many of them um, are past their peak, but it's still nice to look at. See ponding with the water is an issue here. People are really dressed up for their cycling. I actually like that cyclist in the bright orange with the sign in the back saying please slow down. I've uh, ridden my bike in the rain before and it's not really that pleasant often because I overdress and I get wet from the inside more than the outside it's what you have to weigh when you ride in the rain whether you'll get more wet from sweating or more wet from the rain itself because a lot of that waterproof fabric they lock in water from the inside and you won't be able to sweat it out so you get more wet. I think this used to be Victoria's Secret. Yeah, it did used to be Victoria's Secret and it's remained empty. There's Ulta Beauty over here. And Levi's famous uh, jeans company. Actually, where is Uniglo? I think Uniglo used to be here next to the Zara. What happened to it? Did they close up? Wow, this is new. Uniglo is no longer on 34th Street, folks. So I was planning to shop at Uniglo, but it's no longer here anymore. Amazing what times will do. Yep. Uniglow exit sign. There's no doubt that this was Uniglow. Sad to see this location closing up because this is a very convenient location for me. But it works out for the video because I wasn't planning to go to this Uniglow anyway. I was going to go to the one on 5th Avenue and 53rd Street. That one is the flagship store. But things are changing on 34th Street. You just saw it right there. Victoria's Secret's no more. Uniglow's no more here. There's a space for rent there across the street. We have to do the obligatory look up at the Empire State Building from this angle. Beautiful shot. Here we've got Banana Republic. The Banana Republic factory that is. I think they get more of their clothes via wholesale and they can give uh, bigger discounts.
So I have to walk 19 blocks to the north to get to the Uniglo store on 5th Avenue. After walking all that way, they better have what I need in stock. I always prefer to buy clothes in person because I like to see the clothes to see if they fit me rather than ordering them online and then just blindly getting them and then if it doesn't fit you have to return it. I'd rather just go to the store, see the item in person, try it on if it's possible and then make the purchase. how busy 5th Avenue is. 5th Avenue to the left looks about the same amount of people I would expect for this time. But going to the north, oh gosh, I think that umbrella is busted now. That's why I don't like to get cheap umbrellas because they break very easily. Seems like there's a little bit of traffic on 5th Avenue, but nothing really to be alarmed about this time. It's not even rush hour yet. Certainly more buses on Fifth Avenue. Here we've got gifts and luggage store. New York t-shirts, four for $10.99 or $3.99 each. I think that's a pretty good price for a New York t-shirt. Seems like it's getting breezier now. Mason Kaiser Cafe is closed up here, as well as the patisserie. Someone's getting out of the taxi. Or rather getting in.
I'm smelling the hot dog cart from across the street. Man, a lot of these places are closed on 5th Avenue. New is closed. This place is for lease. Just goes to show you many of these retailers, they couldn't make it on 5th Avenue. I know the rents on 5th Avenue must be astronomical. In fact, uh, many of the brands here, they just keep the store on 5th Avenue just for goodwill. They don't actually make any profit from the store. But they keep it for the name and the advertising. Now we're going to walk on their scaffolding again. We're coming up very soon on the main branch of the New York Public Library. The Stephen Schwartzman Building. It's located between 40th Street and 42nd. I think I can make it after this car. By the way, this uh, branch of the New York Public Library isn't the main branch, but it's the Midtown Manhattan branch. And I think it was recently renovated. It looks really modern and nice now. I haven't been inside it since it got renovated. But it looks very inviting now. All right, here we are, 40th Street, New York Public Library branch. Times Square is just two blocks over on 42nd and 7th Avenue. It actually feels like the rain stopped, so I could take this umbrella and put it away. Really cool. I don't like to walk with a umbrella because it's heavy and it obstructs your vis vision. There it is main branch of the New York Public Library.
I might need to put the umbrella back up because I don't think it's finished just yet. It's just slowed down a bit. All right, we are here at the world famous 42nd Street. I think 42nd Street is the busiest crosstown street in uh, Manhattan. Bryant Park, Times Square down that way. Grand Central Terminal down that way. United Nations all the way at the end. You have the one Vanderbilt Tower hidden in the clouds. That's the newest modern skyscraper in New York City. Now we'll probably get a real sense of the activity here, walking 5th Avenue between 42nd Street and 53rd, where Uniglo is. We'll also pass by Rockefeller Center and the uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral. There you see Grand Central Terminal in the distance across 43rd Street. I wonder what's going to happen with this corner on 43rd and 5th. Well, we got our answer. Residential 76-story mixed-use building. Anticipated completion next year, 2022. It's a lot of twos in that year. This store completely empty. Morgan Stanley building. Also, this store here used to be Best Buy, I remember it. But Best Buy moved across the street to this space. I hope that new location helps uh, Best Buy some more. We can walk around this taxi. Forty Fifth Street and Fifth Avenue. I think I could get across. Got two New York gift shops. There's 
the other one. And the Barnes & Noble location at 46th and 5th Avenue. Also 5th Avenue, 46th Street, the start of Little Brazil. There's a lot of good Brazilian restaurants down that way. And then after Little Brazil, there's 47th Street, the start of the Diamond District. I like the window display that Guest has. The floral characters and the star with the clouds. Is the Diamond District. This driver is letting me cross, which is what they're supposed to do. Seems like the uh, the crowds are starting to pick up now. They're not nearly as crowded as what they can be. I'm sure the weather doesn't help either. For me, I actually like to go shopping when there's less people. There's Sunglass Hut also getting ready for spring with these designs in the window. But yeah, I can get into stores which aren't as crowded. I can get more um, attentive service and go find what I need much faster. All right. Here's Ann Taylor. Look at that, they even have to put a sign up in the front saying there's no public restroom. Here's Saks Fifth Avenue. And we're coming up upon Rockefeller Center between 49th Street and 51st Street. No way, it's between, um, yeah, I think it does go to 51st Street. There's the Comcast building. It used to be called the GE building and before that the RCA building, famous for the top of the rock observatory. This area looked a lot different just five months ago when the holidays were in full effect. Now Rockefeller Center looks a lot different now. Looks like all these flowers are blooming here. Got lilies. I think these are daffodils too, but they're past their peak. Very nice flowers. Let's actually make a circle in this promenade area and show it off. 
The flowers certainly smell great here. I smell the lilies all the way from here. I think these are lilacs. Not exactly sure of the specific breed name. And now we have another display which is more pink and purple. Got some tulips and some pink lilies. I wonder what's going on here at the lower level. Did they close off the entire lower level? Wow. This is pretty incredible. They're still doing work on this. Lots of work as a matter of fact. But um, let's walk back around and head to the conclusion of this video at Uniglo. This is one of the uh, best displays in Manhattan that I found, Rockefeller Center. And not to dismiss these tiny flowers too. This is really cool. You see all of them. It gives you a sneak preview of what's to come at Macy's. If Macy's is going to have the flower display they got to beat Rockefeller Center because this looks absolutely stunning right now. Oh, I spotted the rabbit inside the flowers. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's conclude this walk. Here we got St. Patrick's Cathedral, the head of the Roman Catholic Church in New York City. going on here. I like Banana Republic. This is really neat. Got the Atlas statue, the front view of the St. Patrick's Cathedral. I'm actually glad it stopped raining almost completely now because it'll be a lot easier for me to carry the clothes which I'm about to purchase at Uniglo. I guess I'll go.
Also, I did not know that the block between 52nd and 53rd is on this scaffolding. It's amazing how quickly New York City changes. Only a few months, stores which you thought were there are no longer there. Places close up, new places sprout up. There's 52nd Street. Guess I'll go. I mean, they're waiting for a right turn, which they can't make. I really like the look of this scaffolding. It's very high up and it doesn't obstruct the brand names of these stores. Also seems like it's more secure too. Those columns are very thick. But anyway, I'm finally here at Uniglo and I'm about to do some shopping. But if you enjoyed this video walking in the rain through Midtown Manhattan, be sure to smash the like button for me, subscribe for some more videos like these, and I will see you next time. Take it easy everybody, bye bye.